Hello, I'm David Lopez and I am a comic book artist. Uh, this is my first video uh, uh, speaking in English, so please be kind to me and don't take me... Uh, please uh, be kind to me. <laughs> I'm going to show you my process uh, for an illustration I made for um, a Dungeons and Dragons campaign I'm running uh, that I I draw the campaign, I do not write it. So the point here is that I am trying to make uh, drawings by hand uh, and then working them uh, digitally so I can I can have the texture of paper and watercolor uh, and the control of digital colors. So let's get started. Uh, first, I scan the, the illustration and, and crop it uh, properly. I, I check the size and everything and, and I start working like that. I, I control the levels a bit to have uh, better blacks and, and paler whites. And then I do the, um, the shadowing, the, the, the most general thing so I have a base to work in because I didn't have that much control when I was working um, uh, when I was working with watercolor because I was focused more on on the texture uh, and in fact it's um, a, a sketchbook not uh, not watercolor paper so check it's uh, Canson one, I don't know. Ah, here, uh, whatever. I used uh, I used to use uh, Moleskin, but this one by Canson is is really good too. Well, whatever. Um, first, I've made the the shadows to to keep them like blocked, and then I go to the to the background. I am I am using a very simple color scheme, uh, greenish in the front and purple. Um, pinkish uh, for the for the background so easy like that uh, you only have to mm, you have to paint upon the watercolor with translucent uh, layers uh, but not too much because if you do that a lot then you lose the um, the the texture and then uh, you just have to uh, use uh, transparent brushes. That's what I've been doing. And at the beginning, I I focused on on, on the general effect of the thing, trying to keep a balance between light and shadow, and having it all uh, controlled. Uh, there's something I do that, in fact, I have in a, in an action is that I make two correction layers. One uh, that desaturates the piece, so you see it in in grayscale, and another one uh, with posterization uh, to three levels, three, three levels that uh, shows you just black, uh, medium gray, and white. So you can always see how is the the piece doing. Uh, well, after I've I've toned the thing, then I I start to do brush work with uh, transparent uh, brushes. Uh, I try to use uh, textured brushes uh, because the point here is to to find a point where I have the control of digital and the look of handmade. So after some time, you only have to paint, like if you were painting with acrylic colors or with watch, and just like that, uh, with a computer and having fun and try not to overwork the thing. So I think that's it. I will try to put a good uh, cheap music that I like. So if you don't like um, those computer like video games, <laughs> video game music, you just have to turn the sound off. So thank you for watching. Uh, remember to buy my um, my book, Black Hand Iron Head. Uh, you can download it for free if you want. Uh, in parentsindicate.com but if you want to pay for it i will appreciate it so bye see you
and I won't lose our heads the way some lovers do, saying this will last forever when it's just a year or two. You and I won't be the fools that other lovers are, thinking every silver bottle top potentially a star. things like